pocketing strategies. In this video I will explain the main differences between the linear, parallel and peeling strategy. Let's create a simple pocket. The default strategy is linear pocketing where the tool clears the pocket line by line. The distance between passes can be set at a step over column in the tool list. This however makes almost no sense for the strategy. Let's see what happens at the beginning. During the first pass the tool cuts at full width and there is nothing we can do about it. Only after the first pass completed the tool cuts at the desired step over. Depending on pocket geometry there may be more situations where the tool cuts at full width. Conclusion: Excellent for large and wide pockets in soft materials, but not recommended for hard materials. Now let's change the parallel pocketing. The tool will now follow the shape of the pocket. As you can see it again starts cutting at full width. Also step over is limited to 45% or less because this strategy has the inherent tendency to miss some material inside the pocket for values larger than 50%. Conclusion: Excellent for narrow pockets, but step over is limited to 45%. Not recommended for hard materials. Now let's have a look at peeling. This one may look strange at first, so let's have a look at the simulation. At first the tool uses a helix to softly plunge into the material. And then it peels the material off layer by layer. And unlike the previous strategies, never exceeds the desired step over. Conclusion. Excellent for hard materials. Step over is limited to 45% but usually much lower values are used. Depths per pass can be increased as the tool load is relatively low and consistent.